there was a mass shooting uh, early this morning, uh, about 11.30, 11.31. We got it, received a phone call in reference to uh, uh, people, their shooting going on, uh, harassment. And uh, we arrived, uh, found four uh, people deceased inside the house. We life flighted a eight-year-old boy to a hospital, uh, and he has since been pronounced deceased at, at the hospital. And what do you know about this suspect? I hear you're still looking for him right now. We are, uh, and, and we're getting closer to him every every minute of every hour. But uh, we, we know who he is. He is from Mexico. Uh, the victims themselves were from the Honduras. And uh, neighbors you're mentioning, they live right next door to each other. Do you know anything about why this may have happened or what the what the motive was for this kind of thing? The only thing I, I can tell you right now, and in mind that this is still early in the investigation, um, one, one of the, the victims came out of the house and said, hey, we have a, a small baby that's trying to, to sleep. And the man said, I'll shoot out in my front yard, do what I want to in my own residence. Wow. Um, and as far as uh, you don't believe the suspects here right now, but what should folks be, be uh, aware of this morning as you continue to look for this guy who is armed at this point? Yes, ma'am. Well, we, we're not sure if he's armed or not. Uh, we know that he shot a 223, uh, which is AR-15 style weapon, and uh, we know him to be about 10 to 12 miles away from here at this particular time. The FBI released four new photos of Oropesa's face, including one of a large tattoo of a woman wearing a headdress on one of his arms. He could be anywhere now, San Jacinto County Sheriff Greg Capers said Saturday night, adding that investigators have widened their perimeter from about 5 or 6 square miles to as much as 10 or 20 depending on whether or not he crossed the Highline wire. Authorities found an abandoned cell phone and articles of clothing lying around, and tracking dogs from the Texas Department of Correction picked up a scent and then lost that scent in the water, according to the sheriff.